art is an expression of ideas and feelings or the application of human creative skills and imagination, typically in visual forms like paintings, sculptures, and even clothes. But it gets even more intriguing when things out of the ordinary are used in making them, producing works to be appreciated primarily for their beauty or emotional power. Emmanuel Agretieku is a self-taught Ghanaian abstract artist who makes valuable art pieces out of discarded second-hand clothing and textile waste. Tieku collects from spaces like Kantamanto Second-Hand Clothes Market and the Pong Landfill site. His works upcycles fabric merged with acrylic and oil, weaving a narrative that challenges societal norms and embraces interdisciplinary exploration. Tieku's journey into art began during his civil engineering studies, where he explored the reuse of discarded fabric and textile waste, essentially reflecting themes of consumer culture and sustainability. He believes waste cycle does not end with disposal. Uh, working with unconventional materials, you're thinking about a society where everything is conventional, everything is structured, right? But unconventional materials um, come in in the sense that you break you break uh, what is already layered and structured in in society. Uh, they're going to have the COP29 conference very soon, and all they're talking about is battling climate change and the effects on on the entire world, especially on Africans. But then you have um, Obroniwewu being shipped to Ghana. We receive about 15 million garments every week. People purchase about 30 to 40 percent. The remainder or the remaining is, is, is waste. That presented both a challenge and a solution. I felt I could pick that, pick a material that is totally discarded and give it a new life. Tieku admits art and artists are gradually being appreciated in Ghana, but believes more can be done, especially as the year of return has become profitable to Ghana. From the government standpoint, talking about public spaces made available for artists to maybe express themselves, exhibit, you don't have those structures in place. So you have the private sector and individual artists setting um, the pace. You have the year of return being introduced by the government. You find out there is this uh, huge space made available for other genres of art like music. But what you don't see is a single event dedicated to the showcase of art in promoting art, promoting textile, uh, something that clearly represents the soul of the people the culture of the people. I feel like more could be done. There are so many creatives like me who are daring to move textile away from a functioning material into um, a, a work of art which is more valuable and also presents the culture of a people to the world. In a way, you are promoting your culture and also selling your craft. The use of unconventional materials such as waste materials does not only demonstrate creativity and resourcefulness, but also raises awareness about the importance of sustainability and environmental conservation. This serves as a reminder of the limitless possibilities for creativity and ingenuity in arts and highlights the importance of thinking outside the box when it comes to creating meaningful and impactful works of art. For GH1 News, Alhassan Audu.